hello and welcome to this video tutorial in this tutorial what we are going to do is uh, we are going to move a little bit forward with ajax and we'll try to create a form i mean actually we're not creating a form we'll try to create an input box and then we'll create another button over here now when the user clicks on this particular button it should um it should um, grab the information which is present inside this input box which is a username and then it should send it to the database and check if the username is present in the database so if it is present it should give an error message which says uh, sorry uh, this username has already been taken and uh, if it is not present then it should give an error message which says congratulations um, your username is available so that is what we are going to do now um, basically what i've done is created two different um two um I mean an input box and a button so we'll go to Firefox refresh this page oh, supposed to get an input box okay now the reason why I didn't get an input box and a button over here is that um, now when when I uh, when I when the page loads this Ajax function is being called mm -hmm. and um, the output of uh, this Ajax dot PHP is uh, stored inside this variable and what it does over here is it will replace the content inside this um, ID of dev I div ID of um, Ajax and then it will place the content in Ajax um, into that so even though we have written all these things over here Ajax will replace uh, the these things with uh, this Ajax so so that is why we get uh, something like this over here so for the time being I'll just co comment this code and then we'll refresh the page so I have an input box and a check and a button over here so the next thing that I want to do is uh, I want to check if the user has clicked on this particular button. Now if the user clicks on this particular button then grab the content which is present inside this um, input box. So how do I do that? Now uh, I do that by selecting the button uh, ID. So check as a button ID and I want to check if somebody clicked on it. So click then if it is clicked execute a function and then function goes here alert hi okay now uh, I have an error here uh, it's because I have didn't put this in inverted commas now uh, okay now we'll check if so much as right I'm gonna click this and I've got an alert box so this alert box has been displayed when I click on the div I mean the input box which has an ID of check the next thing that I want to do is I want to grab the content or the message uh, or the input that the user enters into this particular input box. Now the way that I do that is um, I select the input box username and then I type in val. Okay, So this will fetch me the data inside that particular input box and I'm going to assign it to a, a variable called username. Okay and I'll alert that I'll just refresh the page I'll type in my name and then click yes I've got the name so basically it will grab my name from the input box and alert it now once I've got my name the next thing that I want to do is make an Ajax request and then send my username to another page and validate if um, the username is there so what I've done is I've copied that Ajax uh, request or uh, in our previous tutorial into this uh, inside this click function so first if uh, it will check if the document is ready then it will check if um, if somebody has clicked on um, this particular thing then if it is clicked execute this function over here so I'm gonna uncomment this and if I go back to Firefox refresh the page it is all the same now it will only get executed I mean this okay now we'll see what is gonna happen if I'm, uh, I've clicked this okay I click on this and I've got the Ajax request now once I click on this it will fetch the username then after that it will call an Ajax function and the same thing I mean the previous tutorial occurs over here so basically that is what happened so I'm gonna refresh this okay now when the next thing that I'm gonna do is pass my um, pass my username okay to the page ajax.php now 
I have all uh, I have already created um, an, a table of a database over here, which says uh, with the name of the database is Ajax, and uh, uh, and I have a table over here, which is called register. Now I'm going to insert um, my name, um, Hari, and then I'm going to give a status one, then save it. Okay, so browse. Okay, this is what I have. Now, uh, now the next thing that I'm going to do is. Uh, go to ajax.php and uh, type in certain things which are very necessary um, for uh, um, for the for validating things so the first thing that I want to do is make a connection to the database so how do I do that okay dollar or uh, I mean sorry so mysql underscore connect underscore db It's gonna be username. Um, it's it, the variables are username and then comma password. I mean, it should be something like the host name. Then comes the username and then the password. Password R die could not connect and this is another mistake my SQL underscore connect okay so we'll see oh is it something like this my SQL underscore connect I'll just google um, Okay, this is MySQL underscore connect. Okay, so the host name is localhost, and the username is um, root, and the password is uh, no password. So I have just created um, a connection. Now I have to select the database. MySQL underscore select underscore DB. Now this will select the database. So the database that I want to select is um, Ajax. So I type in Ajax, and if this is not a success, R die could not could not connect to database. So we have done that. Now the next thing that I want to create connect do is uh, get the data from uh, index.php and. Uh, check if uh, the values there inside that table so um, for the time being I'll stop this tutorial uh, here and the next tutorial will start off with the rest hope you learned something from this tutorial have a great day thank you